I am mentally preparing myself for the big changes that are happening next week. Hello, my name is Andrea and welcome to my channel if you're new here. And if you're not, welcome back and thank you for joining me in the Babe Cave today. And this is a little different video than I normally do. I usually talk about handbags, accessories, and as you can see over here. But today is a little different. I just want to tell you all uh, basically my story and what's coming up next week and why it's happening. So let's just get right into that. So it's not about handbags today, but there will be plenty of handbag videos soon after, I hope. So, first <laughs> so, off, a little bit about me. Um, I, I come from a small town. Uh, the population was probably around uh, maybe 2000 at the time when I grew up. It's blown up bigger now, of course. And in elementary school, I was one of the shortest girls in my entire class. And for a long time, I was one of the shortest. Me and another girl about tied there. And, and so I was a late bloomer, late start growing, all of that. And so it started in elementary and then junior high, I was still small compared to all these other girls. I hadn't developed or done any real changes in junior high. And then high school comes along and about my junior year, sophomore, junior year, my body started changing a little bit. <laughs> I finally grew, I grew to five foot six and I wasn't the shortest girl anymore and I still had a very young face at that time and I'll pop up a picture of my prom photo with one of my good friends and I was super skinny. I graduated high school at 18 and I weighed probably 113 pounds soaking wet and I went on a senior trip uh, back in the 90s <laughs> and I went, we all went to Florida with band. I was in color guard and for all four years and I love flags, color guard, all that stuff. I was really good at it. It was so much fun. Anyway, <laughs> we went to Disney World. We performed there and at I, I believe it was SeaWorld or some park we went to, it, there was this game you, you paid the guy and he would guess your age or whatever, you know, other questions that you want to trip him up with. So I'm like, okay, I've always been told that I looked way younger than what I was. So I paid him and asked him, what do you think, how old do you think I am? And he said, I believe he said 13 or 14. I can't remember which one it was, but I was almost 18 years old. <laughs> so put that in perspective. I Nowadays, I, I want to look younger. <laughs> then it just hurt my feelings more. I'm like, I look like a 13-year-old and I'm almost 18. So anyway, that happened. And... I went to college and in college I could eat what I wanted, um, nothing really major weight gain, no 15 pound weight gain or freshman 15 didn't happen. Uh, so about 25 years old, my body started slowing down. I think my metabolism, I wasn't fat at 25, but I had gained something else that from that point at 25 was perfect <laughs> at that time. And uh, so 25 year old me was was happy with the size that the operation I'm about to get to. <laughs> and then, you know, a few years pass, I start to work out at that point. 
because I don't want to gain weight and your metabolism slows at different ages and mine really started slowing after I had my daughter and that was mid 30s and now I'm in my mid 40s and uh, things have grown and my metabolism overall weight's gone up and I'm working on my health now and so part of that is this upcoming surgery and that's why you're going to see less of me because I am having a breast reduction. I, I just got to say when I was in junior high I prayed for the body that my friends had you know and little did I know how God works and he's like given me extra <laughs> so anyway uh, it I have a small frame body more more back then and with these hurting my shoulder and my lower back I had to get x-rays done and my spine is narrowing I have lower back pain and I've ha I can't stand for hours anymore I have to sit because of my the the weight and my posture is terrible and so it was it's been time for me to do this procedure so I'm going to do it and uh, yeah I just wanted to share with you if I, I'm gonna try to pre-record videos so I'm not out for you guys but I just wanted to have your thoughts and prayers for me while I have the surgery because the only other surgery I've had where I've went under gone under anesthesia is I had tubes in my ears as a kid so I'm going to be you know this is an in-out surgery they've done tons of reductions I feel like it's safe and there's what I've been researching is that you know this kind of surgery you won't feel as much pain as say like a tummy tuck you know this is a the breast reduction surgery and it's an in-out patient so yeah that's my story so a lot of things that I can't buy because of the size of my chest you know you take for granted when you don't have those and you can wear whatever you want and so I can't wait for my back pain to feel better my shoulders it's this shoulder is starting to hurt I have watched many videos lately uh, of testimonials that your back you know feels better your posture changes your confidence level changes which I'm growing into who I am and I'm in my mid 40s and you know I am trying to be healthier make healthier diet choices I work out with my husband at least two to three times a week but when you have a bigger chest it limits you when you're exercising and when you're sleeping also that affects your sleeping so there's a lot of uh, health issues that can come along with having a larger chest that's why I'm just over it I want to be in the normal range and be lesser of me altogether you know a whole, a whole remodel if you will of my body and taking care of me <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this <laughs> and I know some people probably click off and that's fine too I just wanted to be upfront and honest uh, if you don't see me uh, but I'm going to like I said pre-record some videos and hopefully get those out so you won't miss me and then in, in the community post I will keep you updated like I got out of surgery I'm doing okay or my husband will update my community post so you all will know and and I appreciate all your thoughts and prayers I wanted to share that with you and uh, if you were have a similar story or let me know down below I mean I think there this is more common these days than we even know so anyway Thank you for hanging on and supporting me and watching me, even though it's not about a handbag. I'm still in my Lululemon 
belt bag and, and so yeah that is all I have I hope you've hit the like button give me some support please <laughs> and uh, I appreciate all of you for coming by and subscribing and sharing my channel and I hope to see you all again and I will be looking different all right that's the idea so you will be seeing less of me. Anyway, thank you again for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.